One of the things that, uh, that I've been really interested in is how so much change is happening inside the downtown area and I look east and I, I see change stopping at almost like a, you know, a line right, right in, the, in, the, in the road. And I'm wondering about you know, what's, uh, what's going on in East Durham, what kind of change is going on that maybe the rest of the city isn't hearing about. Um, and what kind of vision is there on the council uh, for, for, for East Durham going forward? You know, people are hearing about it. They're very proud of the change, the renaissance that seems to be happening here in this portion of town. Uh, but folks are really, really cognizant of the fact that that change that you say does have parameters. Uh, not that anyone is trying to purposely keep change and growth and um, revitalization out of other communities, but we've got to do some things to replicate what has happened here. We're at a crossroads. Uh, Durham has had a wonderful, a vibrant history, particularly in the African American community when you go down the Fayetteville Street Corridor, the old Haytai area, uh, and much, much of the change that we've seen here uh, in this uh, downtown area has not moved down um, across the expressway. Uh, so that's one of the things that we're trying to do right now, to come up with ways that can invite uh, people who are interested in business, commerce, um, and affordable housing in those areas that can make the revitalization that we've seen here in downtown uh, extend out to other portions of, of the city. The Fayetteville Street Corridor is one, East Durham is another one. Uh, the West End seems to be having a revitalization to some degree with the co-op uh, grocery store there mm -hmm. and some of the other kinds of things. So we're working on trying to make sure that we can indeed have the conversations that would lead to a much fuller uh, revitalization of the city.